Hello everyone and welcome to Plate Up. So this is a new roguelite that came out pretty recently where you play as a chef trying to start a successful business and get five Michelin stars. Um, a lot more difficult than it sounds. You need to survive 15 whole days, whether it be by yourself or with four friends. Uh, nobody loves me, so I'm going to be by myself today. Um, and you run your own restaurant. Try not to get you know the place closed down because we have some picky customers and if they don't receive their meals within a reasonable amount of time or they have to wait too long to be seated they will call the food police i guess it is and shut down our entire restaurant it's a very harsh system that we find ourselves in but we don't really have much of a choice i've only played a tiny little handful of this i basically did the tutorial um and then i did one run and we're just going to go ahead and jump on into it. We will probably fail, but that's half of the fun, right? Uh, so first things first, you have to select a layout. Um, of the two, I think I like... Actually, I think I might like this one better than this one. Just because this one, you got to go through two doors to actually reach the kitchen area. Versus this one, you have your little office area kind of out of the way. And then out of salads or steaks, we're just going to be a steak restaurant today. Up here is a little loading bay. You can bring along extra items if you want. Extra. I only have the extra life for a mixer. Uh, I don't think either of those would be very helpful. The extra life, you know, that could save us. But if we die, I think we're just going to die here. So let's go ahead and we're going to start up. All right. Cook steak once for rare, twice for medium, and three times for well done. Recipes can be viewed at any time in the pause menu. Perfect. All right, so we have two tables here. Um, I'm going to move them around the restaurant just because they're not doing me much good right there. And we're right now only going to have up to groups of one to two, so... I'm going to keep myself a nice little walking area here so that way I can grab food that I set up here. I'm also, we have a booking desk. Unless you're feeling really confident, um, do not use this thing. It calls additional people and books tables for them so you can really screw yourself over if you use that too much. On the first day, you know, it's fine if you choose to use that, but overall don't go crazy using it a whole bunch. So you have to manage every single facet of the restaurant. You have to cook the food, you have to plate the food, hence the name Plate Up. I feel that one's pretty obvious. Um, got this cruddy budget hob here. Actually got two hobs, very nice. Um, but you have to also wash the dishes. You have to do a whole bunch. So we will try and manage all of that. I'm not sure I'm happy with this layout, but we're going to roll with it right now. A job well done. Uh, more like a, a job rarely done. Because <laughs> this is not going to be very good, more than likely. All right. Um, I guess we will just go ahead. We will start up. So right now we have a couple of cruddy budget hobs. They're not doing much for us. I want to, at the very least, get us some rare steaks going just because it takes some time. All right, one wants a rare and one wants a well-done steak. So we will go ahead. We will cook up this steak to well done. We will get that one started up as well. And there's no rush on the first day, you know, take your time. Um, there's no actual punishment for uh, taking too long, as long as they are fed in time. And they are making a big ol' mess. So then you have to pick up their dishes, bring them back into the restaurant, and... My gosh, we are already creating such a mess. We are very messy individuals. So we have to go and wash up all of the dishes, throw them straight back in there. Very nice. 
All right, what does this gentleman want? He wants a rare steak. Well, good thing we prepped one of those in advance. So we will just bring this straight out to him, give him some service with a smile, clean up this mess. Oh, pardon me. All right, let's get two steaks going. At the very least, get them rare. I wouldn't recommend taking your meat off of the cooker and then putting it back on at home, but we do things differently here at a job rarely done. All right, we need a rare and a medium well. So let's take one of these bad boys, throw it back on there. All right, and we will just run both of these out. And I believe that is everyone that we have for the day. Have a good one. Please give us five stars on Yelp. Hasta la bye bye. All right, so we survived the day. So we get a bunch of money. We get paid for the, the food that we sold. I'm also getting extra money just because the game is taking pity on me since I'm playing by myself. And at the end of each day, we get a bunch of different um, recipes that we... Blueprints, basically, that we can create into more things. So dining tables, we can have more seats for people, extra sinks, um, portioners. These automatically portion food for us. That's a little advanced for what we're doing right now. Um, counters, you know, just more storage space. Right now, we want this upgrade desk. So the upgrade desk, it allows you to upgrade a blueprint in an adjacent cabinet. So we can't afford this right now, but we can take it, place it in this blueprint cabinet. And by doing that, it will survive basically overnight. I keep pressing. There's only two buttons to this, and I somehow keep managing to press the wrong one. We are going to move this stuff around just so we can see a bit better. So next time, we will have enough money to buy that research desk. Um, another dining table, that could be nice. Or a counter. I don't really know if I need the counters, but might as well get them now while we don't need them. So that way when we do need them, we have them. But yeah, outside of that, there's not much we can do, so we're just going to jump straight back into it. Alright, let's get some more steaks going. Welcome, welcome, I will be with you shortly. Alright, one rare and one medium well. Man, I make such a mess. Alright, we will plate all of this up, and we will go ahead and serve it up. Alright, enjoy your meal, please just throw food everywhere. It's not like we have standards at this restaurant after all. Please feel free to just make as big of a mess as you would like. People treating the staff like trash nowadays. Alright, actually, we'll keep them waiting a little bit. Have the scent of a rare steak get their uh, nostrils a tingling. Make them wanting more, but not able to get it. Alright, a rare and a medium well. Okay, I'm a little trapped here. So let's get this going. Another rare started up. So one thing that can cause an issue, this mess, um, as these piles grow, you can't, oh come on, keep cleaning. Um, you can actually get stuck in them and not be able to move. Oh, and we have people waiting outside and it's raining, so they don't want to wait very long out in the rain. So I need to hurry up, actually. All right, you have to very quickly clean off their plate or their tables just because they don't want to sit around and wait. Ooh, come on. All right, let's get this going medium well also. Perfect. 
you can automate things as well. I'm definitely going to need to invest into that just because it's a little difficult to do all of this on my own. All right. Let's deliver these. Oh, sorry, sir. That's not your food. That's theirs. What can I get for you, though? You would like a rare steak. Okay. Let's cook that bad boy up. And we have one final plate for you. Perfect. Fantastic. Delivery directly from the chef to your table. That's how we do service here. Have a good one, sir. Bye-bye. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. All right, 44. We are loaded. Extra counter. An extra hob. So this almost would be better just because these are um, budget hobs. They're not quite as good as just a regular hob. Plates. We could use extra plates. That would be handy. Napkins. Or the research desk. Well, we actually already had this research desk. So we were going to place this right in the center there. And then I think actually I'm going to take these plates and we are going to throw them in here and we will upgrade that. So we are going to start up our day. And first things first, we are going to research these plates real fast. So it goes from a stack of eight plates to an auto plater. Very nice. He's thinking about what he wants. He can sit there. Think about it a little bit longer, you know, maybe he doesn't actually want the rare steak. Maybe he's feeling well done today. He's feeling medium well. See, if I hadn't given him the time, he might have ordered a rare steak and he would have regretted it immensely. But now, we are all set. Alright, I'm gonna take that dirty dish from you, sir. So this is day three. Every three days we earn a Michelin star, but the game also gets more difficult. They add new rules to how the game actually plays out. So a medium well and a re uh, well done. I'll keep that as our medium well, and then we will grab the well done here momentarily. And we will also take this table's order along the way. I messed that up. I had the medium well out of range. Should have taken that with me. All right, we very quickly need to clean up these plates. Um, I'm just gonna <laughs> real quick place this rare steak on your chair there, sir. Sorry about that. What can I get for you? A rare and a medium well, okay. We'll throw this bad boy back on there. All right, we need to actually do some dishes just because we have nothing to put our food on. Oh, come on. All right, throw that in there. Throw that in there. All right, and then we will get a rare started up so that way we can at the very least have that started because cooking it to rare, that's one of the longest portions. After that, it's not such a big deal. All right, what can I get for you? Oh, well done. We can do that. All right, perfect. I think I'm going to move the hobs. It is a little weird having them separated like this. I'm not sure what I was thinking when I placed it like that. Alright, and that's another day done. So our first Michelin star. We are a one star restaurant. And now we have to choose between either all processes are 20% slower or we can add mushroom sauce as a steak topping. So it takes some time to make, but each pot will serve multiple portions. Ooh. 
Um, I don't know. See, that's scary just because we're only the one person, you know? We will try... You know what? Let's try mushroom sauce. It cuts down the number of customers we have, so we're only going to have five people come in today. Okay, so... We've got a couple of new blueprints, but we also have three new items that we need to figure out. Um, we might want to practice, just because I don't know what actually goes where. So, auto plater. Let's go ahead, we're gonna buy this. Um, hmm. I wanna move some stuff around. Let's get both of the hobs right up here. We will have some extra plates right here. And then an auto plater will plate anything we place right here. And then mushrooms, we will have... With the onions down here, as well as these pots. And then I believe we need an extra hob also. And conveniently enough, we have one that we can buy right here. It's not upgraded, which isn't amazing, but... We will give it a shot. And then we will grab, um, just some extra plates. We will throw them in there. We don't want to upgrade those, but we will try them out. So I want to see for practice mode, you can do a practice day real quick. I just want to try making the mushroom soup beforehand. So, we fill this up with water, throw it down here, put an onion in there. I believe, right? I didn't actually read the recipe. Okay, it's not letting me do that. Real quick, let us read the recipes dish. Cook steak. Add onion and water to pot and boil to make broth. Add chopped mushroom and cook. Okay, pour over steak. Gotcha. So I need somewhere to chop this. I can bring it up here, I guess. And that will cook up into a delicious mushroom gravy. And then let's say I had a rare steak that's just begging for some mushroom topping. I plate it up. Mmm, that looks absolutely delicious. Let's bin that. Okay. I just wanted to give it a run through before we try it out. So, we are going to go ahead. Let's get that facing the right way. Make sure that we actually have what we want in there. Okay, so, water, throw that in, onion, get that boiling. Let us chop a mushroom in advance. Oh, don't put that back on. All right, two rare steaks. We will throw this in, clean up this mess that is getting larger as we stand here cleaning it somehow. Clean, clean, clean. All right, and we will see what this gentleman wants. He wants a rare steak, fantastic. So if I put it right here, it should auto plate. And then I can just hand it over to him. Steal his plate back, and we will just clean up real fast. What can I do for you, sir? Another rare steak, fantastic. Nobody actually wants my mushroom gravy that I made. I worked hard on that. Oh, so one thing, gotta always make sure to put stuff back, otherwise it's just sitting in the way. And I don't have anyone who can help me out and move stuff for me. They are thinking, let's get two steaks going 
They can sit around and contemplate our beautiful decor for a little bit, how dirty our floors are, things of that nature. Ah, this is something to consider. Okay, so we have a rare steak here now that isn't necessarily what I had wanted. What do you gentlemen want? A rare with gravy and a medium well. Well, this one can be medium well. And then we will put some mushroom gravy on this one. Ah, perfect. This person wants another rare with mushroom gravy. So we will run that out to them straight away. And that should be everyone for the day. Perfect, we survived the day. Okay, so the mushroom gravy, it isn't gonna be too big of an issue. I wanna grab these extra plates for 20. You just can never have too many plates, you know? And one thing I could do, I could put them out here and sell off these extra plates, but I'm actually gonna throw them I have extra room in here, might as well hold on to them for when we might need them. And then we can get a hob going up and should we upgrade the hob? I kind of want it like either a safety hob or a danger hob. Safety hobs, they don't burn whatever you place on them so you can just leave it alone. That would be good for the, well, Actually, a safety hub would be really bad because, unless I want a lot of meat or uh, well done steaks. I might actually try and upgrade a dining table instead. And just buy a regular hob. Oh. Thinks I'm trying to lock myself in here. So that's one thing you can do with friends, which is a little fun. You can actually just lock yourself away in a room and basically uh, have everybody have their designated areas. I could put something in front of this door and then people wouldn't be interrupting me while I'm in here. Okay, let's get this going. Get the mushroom all chopped up. And then we will get two of these going. All right, he wants a medium well. I don't know why I left my food actually unattended. Okay, get that mushroom thrown in here. I'm gonna do the research real fast while that cooks. So the dining table will now become a bar table. That's actually pretty horrible. Bar tables can only seat one person. Um, it's not really the vibe we're going for here, but say la vie, I guess. Okay, what can I get for you, sir? A rare. Well, all we have is well done, unfortunately. Alright, I will take your plate with me. Don't mind me hovering over you as you eat. Okay, a rare and a well done with gravy. Oh, I gotta plate it up before I can put on the gravy, apparently. Okay, there's that, and then let us get a rare cooking up. We'll clean up in here while we're at it. We're not animals, after all. And then a well done. Let's restock this real fast. Get all these dishes out of the way. Please 
please be patient. We are understaffed due to the virus. We'll get two rares started up at the very least. Alright, and then we will see what they want. A rare and a medium well with gravy. I think we can manage that. Very good, yes. Please leave a review on Yelp. Tell your friends. Remember, that's a job rarely done. Okay, so now we get to decide if we want to be an exclusive restaurant or a formal restaurant. So exclusive restaurants, they make more money. People will wait longer to actually eat at them so your queues can last longer. Formal, um, we have high standards, so we basically say no mess. Um, none of that mess nonsense, we're not about it. So... I like exclusive, makes more money for us, which is handy. We are gonna need lots of money to do stuff. So, with this, we get some flooring options as well as some different, uh, oh, that is horrendous. Um, that's not much better, but sure. Sure, green walls, yellow walls, perfect. Um, <laughs> I think that is quite horrendous, but we'll make do with it. Um, I don't want this bar table, so we are going to get rid of this. They... They're super cheap and it removes the thinking phase, but um, you can only seat one person there. Well, I don't know, maybe I could do it. You know what, it's so cheap, why not? If we decide we don't like it, we can always get rid of it later. Um, so right now, everything is well beyond our price limits. Um, we will buy a rug. So these rugs are flammable, but you can't make a mess on them. So we will place it here. And if we manage to get three um, of those gems, you get like one for here, um, two for the classical globe, etc. If we get three, we'll get increased queue patience, and you get like increased money, and then I think it's something else to do with the queue. Yeah, we can't afford anything else anyways. We can always hold on to something for next time, so I think I will hold on to another one of these rugs. And we will start the next day. Okay, so let's get our mushroom gravy started up. Then we will get two steaks a cooking. So yeah, the regular hop, even though I started on it afterwards, um, it just cooks, you know, a lot faster than the budget hob. Let's get both of these cooking up to medium well. Get some mushroom gravy on both of these, and then we will serve it up, plate up. Oh no, he didn't want gravy on his. Um, oh crap. Oh no, I think we're dead. They're gonna shut me down. How am I gonna afford rent? Please no, I have bills to pay. No, oh gosh. Okay, and just like that, our restaurant is brought to a close. Disastrous customer leaves unserved. Restaurant is forced to close by angry critics. Yeah. One uh, dish, I actually am holding it in my hands right there as I am trying to run it to him, but that was unacceptable. Uh, 
place clearly was not worthy of a Michelin star. Um, I hope they find that crazy man who didn't serve steaks within a reasonable amount of time and they throw him away in jail. He is a horrible, horrible person. But yeah, that is played up. Um, I'm interested in trying out some more if it gets some likes, um, if people are interested in it. Uh, huge shout out to the developer. Um, I believe he is called Alistair. Um, he has done a phenomenal job. He is a one-man team and he's made this entire game. It's a lot of fun. Um, I've never claimed to be good at this game. I only managed to make it to day six and I died on day six because I apparently can't read a um, actual order. But say la vie, we you know, ran for as long as we could. Afita Zayn, a job rarely done. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, this game was a lot of fun, so maybe we'll play some more. Uh, and I will see you all next time. Have a good one. Bye.